So I caught a uh, electric ray today and this is what's left after cleaning it. In there is mostly, apart from the innards and everything, the wings are full of the electric generating cells and they're not edible. But the skin peels right off and uh, it's related to shark so there's no bones, there's just a, a cartilage spine down the middle here. And uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to make a chowder. I've upgraded my makeshift Hawaiian sling so that there's a line on it now. That's a spear gun spear there. Uh, it's not really ideal for a Hawaiian sling. It's not big enough or heavy enough or long enough. Things like this I can catch that are quite easy to catch and not particularly scare humans because they're not used to having predators. So yeah. I'll come back to you when uh, we start on the chowder. Um, now we've cut everything up. I was debating whether to bother uh, taking the spine and bones out of the ray, especially as it's not a huge one and it's only cartilage so you can just sort of cut it into slices. But uh, I took the spine out but there's still some ribs because there's quite a lot of flesh on the ribs. But the ribs are also cartilage because it's related to sharks, it doesn't have any bones. That's all pretty much meat there. So that's enough for a chowder. And then we've got some potatoes, cabbage. I like to use leek in a chowder, but uh, there's no leek here. And onions. And uh, I'll show you in a second how I'm going to season it and uh, how to make it. It's very easy, so it's a nice thing to make. Okay, back soon. So now we're frying the onions in a little bit of normal olive oil. The pot's a bit dirty now, I'm a little bit burnt because uh, I don't have a metal scourer. But hey, look at that. I've been the stove. It's all, all rusted and stuff, but hey. So now I'm frying the onions. Once, uh, once they're a bit uh, fried, then I shall add in, I mean, the electric ray and then the cabbage and potato on top of that. For seasoning I've got uh, bay leaves, white pepper and salt. And that's really all you need. Uh, go quite heavy, well, the way it's supposed to do it is to um, go quite heavy on the pepper, but obviously do that to suit your taste. Um, it is supposed to be sort of pepper spicy. Um, you can add a bit of garlic if you want. I do sometimes, I don't think I will this time. Um, So yeah, and there's an extra step, couple of stages coming soon, so uh, I'll come back to you once we've reached that. So now you've got the potatoes and cabbage, the spices, salt, pepper, bay leaves, and about two tablespoons of flour. And uh, I'm going to put some lentils on top of that. Uh, just to bulk it up, you don't have to put lentils, but uh, it makes them into more of a meal because you're not really supposed to have it with pasta or something, it's more of a stew. Um, so yeah, the lentils will make more of it, and then I'll add water, and uh, add more water later if necessary to get it to kind of a uh, creamy thickness. Uh, the lentils are going to absorb the water too, so I want to add water slowly, not too much, not too little. So you just add it slowly until it's uh, the consistency where you want it. Well, they remember it was going to get thicker when it cools down, so maybe you want to have it a tiny bit thinner than uh, the texture you want to end up with. Alright, so I'll add the water to this now. So I've added water. I actually also added a couple of spoons of milk powder. I don't always, but uh, uh, you can do if you want. As you see, the lentils are in there. Nothing that's really cooked yet, because it's only just come to the boil, and then I've turned it down to the simmer. I'm just going to leave it here for 45 minutes or so, on a very low heat, just simmering, stirring every 10 minutes or so, so nothing gets stuck to the bottom. You keep an eye on the thickness so it doesn't get too thick. It's too thin at the moment, but uh, it will get thicker as the lentils and potatoes start to cook. 
So yeah, it's going to look a bit better once it uh, gets on a bit. Now it's all a bit raw. So we'll come back to it later. So here we are. It says I've already added more water. And uh, so it's still a bit thin now. So I'm going to leave it a little bit while, a little while longer and then turn it off and then you've got to, uh, I'll turn it off with, uh, with the lid on which means we'll keep cooking a bit off when the, even when the heat's off and save me some gas yeah looking and smelling good It's very easy to make, you know, you just need one pot and no real special preparation, just chuck things in there in the correct order. So, not lots of washing up, not lots of effort, and uh, it's tasty. So, here's about what it should look like when it's done. Obviously if you don't use lentils then you'll need to use a bit more flour to thicken it up, but um, it's all pretty simple. And here we go, served and ready to eat. So you can do this with uh, any firm white wheat meat chicken, octopus, squid, shark, and uh, even works okay vegetarian. And yeah, it's cheap and nice. I hope that uh, gives you some ideas for making stuff.